Ciao, and welcome to Simple Italian Cooking. My name is Liz, and I'm very glad you're watching today because we have a great recipe I want to show you that's super, super simple. It's baked zucchini bruschetta, and you're wondering what the heck is that? Well, let me show you. Very few ingredients, which is why one of the reasons why I like this recipe. All you need is a, a nice zucchini and some uh, tomatoes. Now these are smaller tomatoes that I bought, but um, you could use any size you want. Just slice them and cut them so they fit. I'll show you what I mean later. And then all you need is some uh, grated cheese, Italian cheese, some bread crumbs, and uh, some basil and olive oil. So the first thing we do is take your zucchini, and I always recommend trying to get organic if possible. That way you don't have to worry about uh, pesticides and all that lovely stuff. And you want to slice them to about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so you can see I have them here, and I'm going to layer, uh, or I'm just going to place some tomato slices on top. Now you can actually get really creative with this, and you could probably alternate and do a couple of layers and see what happens, and you know, bake it, and you know, it's fun with cooking. You can be as creative and different as you want. You want to slice the tomatoes about the same thickness as the um, as the zucchini. Next, I will go ahead and add my breadcrumbs. Now, I actually made these breadcrumbs um, homemade, and I'll have a video on that, on how to do that. Um, I actually didn't have any breadcrumbs in the pantry, so uh, why not just make your own? I'll show you a quick way on how to do that later. All right, so I sprinkled the uh, breadcrumbs on my Italian bruschetta. If you know bruschetta is actually, it's, instead of zucchini, you would use um, slices of bread. And uh, you usually rub garlic on it, and the different ways people do it. You go to every restaurant seems to do it different. I'm actually not using garlic on this because I think it's gonna overpower the flavors that are already there. Oh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add, um, I'm gonna drizzle olive oil on it. And I'm not going to do it all that sparingly because you really want that olive oil to heat because it's going to help um, get into the zucchini and add flavor and the tomato. And you want those breadcrumbs to really crisp up on top. So we have the, uh, the olive oil is on there and I drizzled it on. Now we're going to bake it in the oven at 425 and we're going to start for about 15 minutes. And then we'll check it and see if it needs to go a little longer, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I took the zucchini bruschetta out of the oven and it looks great. Um, so that was 15 minutes at 425. And I can tell it's done because the uh, breadcrumbs, uh, I can tell, are darkened. The uh, zucchini was beginning to crisp up a little. So this is really, really good. Now I want to say be really, really careful when you take it out of the oven. Make sure you use mitts, obviously, or whatever. Um, because the olive oil is going to probably splatter a bit. I know I mentioned it before, but it's worth mentioning again because I could really see it when I did it this time. So just be careful. Um, try and use a baking dish if you can. But anyway, let it cool for a little bit. Not that long, you know, just a minute or two. And go ahead and start putting them ready for serving. And when you're done, what we're going to do is, see how nice it slides on there? It's great. Uh, what we're going to do is put a basil leaf on each one and that's going to give it that last final little bit of zing to the flavor. If you don't have fresh basil, don't bother doing it. Don't use dried. Um, just won't have the same uh, kick to it. So uh, if you don't have it, don't feel like you can't do the recipe because um, <laughs> trust me, they still taste great. Well, we're finished. We've got our zucchini bruschetta and let me tell you, it tastes great. I've already been sampling a few. and. Uh, this is, this is really easy. Anybody can make this. And I know if I can make it and it tastes good, I know anybody can, trust me. Um, so you can serve this as an appetizer. You can serve it alongside um, something else. And just figure out how many slices you want you to think uh, per person. And that's how, how you would figure how, how much you need to make. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter uh, or liked me on Facebook, please go ahead and do so at simpleitaliancooking.com. Thanks again for watching. Ciao.